Welcome back you guys today once again I'll be teaching you how to get coins on FIFA 23 so if you're new around here and you need better players well you're in the right place all you gotta do is drop a like down below and of course subscribe because we are giving away seven copies of AFC and who doesn't want the next game for free all you gotta do is subscribe and send me proof over on Instagram and you'll be entered into the giveaway we'll be doing the giveaway at 14k so we're about 150 subs away keep those subs coming up keep those entries in and we'll be announcing that very soon and as usual if you need coins in a quicker way well so if you guys are sick of losing at FIFA because your team isn't good enough or you're not good enough at the game, then right now you need to head over to skycoach.gg. Not only can they coach you in your weekend league or play your games for you, you can buy any amount of coins you want and all of the services get 10% off right now with the code PROREECALL. Go check them out below. Make sure to click the link in the description and let's get into it. Now, of course, as usual, we do need to talk about the ability to get coins from nothing. Of course, from zero, you can't do any trading, so we don't want to start initially there. There are a few options, of course. What I'd always say is take yourself over to the squad battle screen. If you go over to the icons, you will see I have essentially on all of the full icon SBCs, as you can see with these three here, completed the first two sections of every one because there's a bronze and a silver SBC at the start. So 11 bronze rares, 11 silver rares, you get two rare gold players back. Now, usually the return on these is very good. So if you have the players in your club, it's worth doing that because it's always going to get you a few thousand coins, especially with the way the market is on low end fodder at the minute. Of course, you then have the more typical ways. You've got moments, squad battles, rivals, and champs. Of course, champs, if you do your qualifiers, you do get an initial tradable reward anyway. Division rivals, once again, coins per game and a tradable reward option. Squad battles, tradable. And of course, moments, there are some tradable options too. So that's going to be how you get your coins. Now, if you really can't do any of them, you can take yourself over to Stadium. And what you will find is if you've been playing the game all year round, there should be some stuff that you can just simply go on and sell. I mean, pitch mo pattern, personally, I don't really think I need one of them. But if we've got one that's sellable, clearly not. Pitch line color would be the next portal call. So as you can see, I've kind of been quick selling as much as I can at the minute. But you can see here, there's a few there that are actually tradable. So right there, we've just made ourselves a thousand coins, essentially, in about, what, 15 seconds? And then you're going to take yourself over to marquee matchups. You've got the throwback marquee matchups at the minute. Now, usually you get four very solid filters because the second section will have you need one Real Madrid and one Barca, whereas today we've got one or the other. So the, the market might not move as much, but you will have a filter out of every single one. So we've got Villa, Chelsea, Madrid and Barcelona. So starting off, we need to work out if it's gold rares or standard golds that have gone up. So it looks like the standard and the gold rares on Barca haven't really moved too much. So it does seem, I mean, if we pop it on gold rare, you can see there were some Alonso's there going for a little bit lower i would say actually with this one it's probably worth not even doing gold rare because as you can see 900 coins seems to be like a fair point for them and you can get the commons on this filter as well so you might as well go for that because it just means you've got a better chance at a little bit more profit so looking there i would say sniper 800 coins because you can pick up all of the rares at that point as you can see you've also got the commons there as well and of course you can sell these guys on for about a k so the ea sort of tax is going to come in there and the profit isn't going to be huge but you're looking at about 100 to 150 coins per card so if you go to 850 similar story we managed to get one straight away eric garcia there and um, pop him up for a thousand coins 150 profit definitely not bad at all and of course as usual guys we've done marquee matchups and we have a we have a guest as well we're going to do five packs we'll open two each and then whoever got the best out of the first four will open the last one um Quick realistically nice. It was like 20k, so all we need to make back is 20k. Very easy right now. You can open the first pack. Oh, we bestowed the honor. We'll go. Uh, Jumbo Gold. I think the last rare players pack is the best, so okay, we'll do that last. Or we'll we'll something rare. Okay. Oh, fuck off. How have you. I mean, it's like you've won. You've won. You've absolutely won. Yeah, we take that. You've absolutely won. Yeah, but we take but that. it proves the point. This is a 100% this is a profit SBC. Everything from here is profit. What's that like? I think that's 100k. Damn. Nice. Yeah. Damn. Shout out Fernando. You know? Shout out Fernando's. Uh, 15 wings, extra hot. Man, I, I, I mean, 55k is still not bad, is it? Oh my god, it's 100k. 120k. Pro YouTuber. Pro recoil. So after the wholesale of that pack, we're at like 60k. He wasn't worth 100k. I may have got that a little bit wrong. We're going to do rare players last. So I'm going to do the prime Electrum players pack. And yeah, we, it's, it's everything's downhill from here really, isn't it? Not with that attitude, it might be. I don't think you said that right. I said not and then I stopped. and then, But I just didn't stop for long enough. Wild one, yeah. Yoda. Um, well, you're a weirdo. Weirdo. <clears throat> I 
so glad I can cut all of you. All of you speaking shit, Carl. <laughs> so we're at 70k after the first two packs. Obviously, the first pack may have been semi dominant. Um, Ooh. 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 Oh, oh, oh! Always gonna get the best centre back in the Prem, Salabar. You know, I saw earlier top ten um, valuable centre backs in the world, and Salabar is nine. Where does Luca and I come on that list? Open the fucking pack. <laughs> All that Ahmad Diallo. What about Luke? Oh, Pitt. All right, you get to open the last pack. It's essentially though, guys, we've got back 80, I want to say about 80K. If we sell off every little bit, obviously I'm sending most of it to our club because I'm a rich boy. And rare players pack. Oh. Go. That's the magic. Cool. If this is bad now, I'm going to throw the controller. No, I'm not. Ben, I can't afford it. Well, you like. You've heard it here first. You've heard it here first. <laughs> a man who sticks his word. We're going to finish off just with a few little fills there. We've done, obviously, marking matchups, which is, of course, as you saw, a very, very profitable West BC. Most weeks, we do get about 5 or 10K. That was about, I want to say, 70 profit. Um, so, a decent return. And, of course, another fill you probably want to go over again is Silver Team of the Week, because they have sawn up again. We had a few on the transfer list from the last time we looked. They're 30K again. I don't know why they keep going to 30K. But essentially, just snipe them for anything from about 27, and it's a really easy profit. You've also got all of the moments now from pretty much any of the leagues have gone up a little bit. I think just because the shapeshifter cards are pretty trash. So if you take yourself over, Syria obviously was an easy one with the defenders. So we've got Hamori on Quadrado. Quadrado's obviously dropped a little bit, but you can still get both of them in there. You've also got the opportunity, if you want, to go for just Juve, and you should have Di Maria and Quadrado there as well Di Maria a little bit closer in the price so it's pretty much a bit easier to snipe them you want to take it to about I want to say 141 looks like about 110 so realistically really easy one you don't need too many coins to do this you can pretty much go and complete marquee matchups do a little bit of trading with that and probably have enough for there and if you don't check out yesterday's video and you'll be good to go so EA tax on this one's gonna be 6k take it down to 110 and snipe from there so you're making 4k profit per snipe really really simple method a lot of the team of the seasons have dropped or gone up a little bit recently so there's been a bit of a change in pricing which means a lot of people are listing them wrong so because of that you can make a little bit of an advantage of it and make a few more coins and it's probably worth taking a look at the shapeshifter icon since we packed one in the video obviously you've got herrero there you've got a couple options with his card we've got the left and the right back options you've got socrates has now dropped a little bit so i would say it's probably worth having a look at the cams and um, we've got van percy there for one part and then we've also got Socrates. So both of them available now. Both of them cheapened up a bit. If you can get rid of Rykard by putting the max at his max, you'd be able to snipe Van Persie and Socrates, which isn't a bad filter at all. And then finally, we'll just go back to some of the little old and gold ones. If you go over to League One and PSG and Italy, you're gonna have Baratti and Donnarumma. So if you spam that one out, always really easy, especially with the, the ratings being so close and the price. Of course, as usual, if you've enjoyed the video, drop a like down below and of course, subscribe if you are new or just want a free copy of FIFA. I'll see you guys in the next one.